Welcome to the Farm in Harmony. Each year we honor our veterans with the military themed corn maze. This year in particular, we honor my husband, Fred, who was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam. This year's design is the Huey helicopter. I met Fred when I joined the Army to go to flight school to fly helicopters. One time I went in to a hot area because the Marines were being overrun and uh, against orders I was going in and uh, I called in the blind for cover and Fred against orders called me and said, Rich, I got you covered and we both went in to help the Marines. I met Fred, I was about 14 years old and he was 16 years old. We both had horses and we both belonged to the 4-H Horse Club. I was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam in 1969 and 1970. I flew the Hueys and the mission we did was called Ash and Trash where we did a little bit of everything. Fred loved technology and he loved to learn about new and different things. And I often wonder what he would think about today's technology like on drones or cryptography. And we've tried to incorporate a little bit of that in our maze. In the kids' maze, we have a cryptologic code that they can crack. And in the main maze, we have signs that cover different military helicopters with a QR code that you can scan and learn more about each aircraft. Fred earned both a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star with Valor in Vietnam. For years, he had citations hanging in his office, and I remember distinctly the first day that I read them. When I read about his bravery in the Tet Offensive, his fearlessness that night, I just stood there and thought, I love this man. Fred served in the 175th Assault Helicopter Company. They went by the Outlaws and Mavericks. And this year, the children's maze is actually the Maverick logo. In 2005, Fred was diagnosed with Parkinson's from the Agent Orange. Oddly enough, that was the year that he took up paragliding. Fred's positive attitude was um, inspiring to many people around him. He was always chipper and upbeat, and no matter what the ailment or the adversity was, he was always just a happy. 